Kylie, today I take you to be my lawfully wedded wife and lifetime The Bachelor watch partner. <laughs> dog dad me and Winston could ever ask for. Standing here looking at you, I don't think I could ever be more sure or feel more blessed about a journey through life with you. You are the most thoughtful and amazing person I've ever met. I promise to always say I love you in good terms and in bad, when life seems easy and when life seems hard. The way you care for people never ceases to inspire me. The next thing I love about you is that smile. <laughs> it's perfect and I can't help but smile right back when I see it. I promise to watch in awe as you kick ass and take names at Orange Theory. And I promise to make sure I try and let you pick out a restaurant even when all I want is ale and pour buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> I vow to always offer you the last bite, whether I'm already certain whether I'm already certain you don't want it or not. I vow to rub your feet after long days or even just after long orange theory classes. In the way Winston acts, our kids are going to be on the wild side, but if I am positive about anything else, it's that I wouldn't want to take that ride with any other guy. No matter where life takes us, I will always be by your side. No matter how fast Winston is dragging us through a state park. <laughs> Kylie, I love you, and I can't wait for what lies ahead. I love you. By the power given to me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Logan, you might not kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am so pleased to present the newlyweds for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kylie and Logan Shishley. I'm so proud of both of you guys. It's a long time coming. You guys have been together, what, 24 and a half years? <laughs> Something like that. Kylie, 
You look absolutely stunning tonight. Logan's definitely a lucky man. Our bond was built on crazy shenanigans, like we were playing softball and broke a window. I thought we could never hide it by placing it with a cardboard. No one noticed, right? I gave Logan a bunch of crap about the getup that we're all wearing today, but he was able to take five gentlemen who have no style, or at least that's what he told me, um, and he made us look pretty fly. You also showed that men can also pull off capris, so <laughs> that works too. Or when we had the grand idea to cover their entire basement with bottles and bottles of shaving cream. Why, you ask? Obviously, so we can make a homemade slip inside. I'm sorry, Kim. <laughs> After college, Logan and my relationship got, I'd say, stronger. We hang out all the time, and I don't know if that's just because I live closest, but I guess I'm here. Not too long after I met Kylie, it's always been the Logan and Kylie show. Like, I became the honorary third wheel of the group. You'd see, wherever we pulled up, you'd have Logan and Kylie, and then me in the back seat. It was like driving with mom and dad. Moving away from her was probably one of the hardest things we've had to overcome. To be honest, it was almost like losing my childhood. Logan's always had my back. Whether it was literally carrying me home from the Lowell Square the first time I went to meet her friends, <laughs> and parents, to be honest. Yeah, that was not a good time. Or just having a laid back, great time. And Logan, I just wanted to say you have one hell of a woman. Never what I thought 11 years ago, sitting at the bus stop, the cute little middle school crush would turn into this beautiful wedding. Logan, you're my best friend, and I love you, man. I'm so happy to see you marry the love of your life, Kylie, and honestly, one of my best friends, too. There's never a dull moment with you guys, and please never lose that. I wish you guys a lifetime of happiness. I love you both so much. The forward's been written. The page Pages are empty. The book, from this point forward, follow your heart, you can never go wrong. Everybody raise your glasses. To my son and to my new daughter-in-law, I love you both. Good luck. And from this day forward, fist bump, babe. 11 years later, we did the damn thing. <laughs>